Hey guys, so today I'm going to rank Paul's albums from least favorite to favorite. There's 23 of them. Um, and before I start this, I just want to preference that I did include Broad Street in this ranking. But I did not include like his classical albums or his cover albums like uh, Run Over Run, Choba, stuff like that. Um, and I also want to say that I don't have like a physical copy of every album. I don't have Driving Rain, uh, New, Memory Almost Full, um, Off the Ground, and Egypt Station. I don't have those um, physically, but I will talk about them. Um, this is probably going to be a long video, so let's just hop right into it. Um, at the very bottom, number 23, is Driving Rain. I don't like this record at all. Um, I it's never really caught me. I can't um, melodically, lyrically. It just it's never really caught me. Um, I think this record is very dark sounding, um, which I can understand why Linda had died three years before this album was released or recorded, and it was kind of um, that, but. It doesn't really make any sense because the lyrics are kind of optimistic. Um, the only songs that I really like on this album is uh, Freedom, which a lot of people don't like, but I really do like that song, and Your Loving Flame. Other than that, um, out of the 16 tracks, I can't stand it. Um, so that's why it's at the very bottom. Next is number 22. And it is Red Rose Speedway. Um, I don't know what it is about this particular record. I know a lot of people really like this. A lot of McCartney aficionados love this album. Um, I just, I, again, never really connected with a lot of these songs on this album. Um, it's surprising, though, because, um, you know, My Love is on this record. And on the archive collection, Live and Let Die is also on this record. Um, but I don't have the uh, archive collection, as you can tell. I only have the uh, 73 version. Um, I just, I think that a lot of these songs are kind of, eh, they're okay. Um, they're not, I, it's definitely not his best songwriting um, melody. I don't know why. Um, I like... Uh, obviously, I like My Love. That's one of my favorite Paul McCartney songs all of all time. Um, and I like... A, mm, I like... Um, Get On The Right, right, the right Thing. And... Um, I like, like Hands of Love and Power Cut off the medley. But other than that, I don't really like this record. I never have. So that's why it's at number 22. Uh, number 21 is McCartney 2, uh, the second of the trilogy. Um, and again, it's an experimental album um, full of m experimental songs on it. Um, not really like full songs. I like some of the songs. I like... Um, coming up which was the big single off this record it was a number one single actually um waterfalls is a great song i do like temporary secretary i think that's one of his cult classics um but other than that i don't really like this song never or uh, this album i've never really connected with it and i don't see myself connecting with it anytime soon so that's why it's at 21 Number 20 is McCartney. I know a lot of people love this record. Um, and um, I just, I don't like the, a lot of instrumental tracks. I'm not a really big instrumental track person. Um, but, I mean, I like some of the songs. I think I like a lot more songs than the last two albums, I think. Um, or last three albums, sorry. Uh, Lovely Linda is a great track. Um, it's short, 
but it's it's a really cute song. Uh, Every Night's a beautiful ballad. I like Junk. I like Teddy Boy. And I love, obviously, Maybe I'm Amazed. That's his, like, best song. Like, one of his best songs ever. Um, but other than that, it's just, it's not, um, it's just not one of my favorites, um, to listen to. I wouldn't go back to this record. I think it, it's just, it's too blah, kind of. Um, so this is at 20. Number 19, a lot of people are going to be pissed at me that I said <laughs> that I, uh, I put this at 19, but it's. Again, I've never really connected with this album. I just, I don't know why. Um, I listened to it multiple times and I never really connected with it. Um, I just, I know this is like at a lot of McCartney fans' top um, McCartney song or McCartney albums, but it's never been mine. Um, I like Dear Boy, I think the vocalizations on that record or that song is amazing i like smile away i like um part of the country monkberry and the backseat of my car um are my favorite songs off this album um but other than that it's not my favorite uh number uh 18 is 1986's press to play um, I like this song, or I like Stranglehold, Good Times Coming, um, Footprints, Only Love Remains, Press, and Angry. I think those are the best songs on the album, and that takes up, like, f half of the album. Um, I don't think it's as bad as people say. Um, I like 80s music a lot, and this is very 80s, because obviously they, he put who produced it, right? And he had obviously Hugh produced this record, but he had Phil Collins on drums on Ang um on I believe it was uh Angry that he had Phil Collins and Pete Townsend and um Eric Stewart on this record. Um it's not my favorite, but I do listen to this album um especially Stranglehold, Only Love Remains, and Press are my um, top three songs that I play on this album a lot. Number 17 is uh, 1983's Press, or sorry, 1983's Pipes of Peace. Um, I think this album is okay. Um, it's not one of my favorites, for sure, obviously, as you probably can tell um what the hell it's strange um but i like the title track i like um the other me so bad the man and through our love are my favorite songs on the album um but the other songs are just not my favorite i've never really connected with say 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 uh, even though that was a major hit for him, I just never really did connect with that. So, um, this is going snugly in 17. Number 16 is Back to the Egg. I think this album is, um, really undeservedly shot on. I think it's a good album. Um... I like, it's a concept album, right? So it's, it's not like, it's, you know, opens with kind of a, a small little song and then, um, but like, I love, um, getting closer, spin it on, old CM Sir, arrow through me, obviously. I like, um, after the ball, winter rose, baby's request. Uh, yeah, and I, I particularly, I like, this is my favorite lineup of Wings, um, for sure, uh, with Lawrence Juber and Steve, um, Steve Holly, I think his name is, yeah, Holly, 
Uh, it's a good record. Um, so this is going at 16. 15 is Speed of Sound. Uh, this is obviously was the number one album in 76. Um, backed by two massive singles. Let them in. So the love songs, obviously. Two of my favorite Paul McCartney songs ever. Um, sorry. I love, um, I love Warm and Beautiful. I love that ballad. It's a beautiful song. Um, I love She's My Baby. Uh, Beware My Love. Um, but, like, I don't like the democratic nature of this album. I think he let wings, really. Linda, Denny write too many songs on this record and it's just it's not it's just not the same um i think paul was obviously the best songwriter in wings um it is just it the songs that he wrote on this album are fucking amazing but the songs that he didn't aren't so there you go uh sorry 14 is this album really surprised me because this album really got shot on when it was released um but it's wildlife i really really was surprised by this record right here um i didn't expect it to be as good as it was i love love is strange i love the um title track wildlife i love some people never know tomorrow and dear friend um I just I think this song, this album um was is a really good early wings album um obviously with the first lineup of wings with Denny um Sywell and Denny Lane um and I I just I really do love this record I I was very surprised by it when I heard it um for the first time um yeah uh 12 or sorry 13 is Broad Street. Um, it's obviously from the movie. Um, give my regards to Broad Street, which was not a success. Um, but I respect him for going into it. And if you look at the movie as what it is, which is Paul McCartney making a movie, it's not that bad. It's not terrible, but it um, it's not the best movie I've ever seen. Obviously, but it's definitely not the worst either. Um, so. Um, this obviously has a lot of reworks of his, um, classic songs, but my favorite song on this entire record is No More Lonely Nights. That's one of my favorite Paul McCartney songs of all time. Um, I love his rework of Yesterday on this record, um, Here, There, and Everywhere, and, um, his rework of Wanderlust, which is actually my favorite version of Wanderlust. I like the, this that version on this record better than the one on Tug of War. I don't like the version of Silly Love Songs they do on this record. It sucks. Um, I love the... Um, I love both versions of No More Lonely Nights, the uh, play out and the ballad version. Um, it's obviously a soundtrack album, but it's, it's pretty good. Um, so it's 13. 12 is his recent most recent album i don't have the imagined i have just the standard mccartney three um i like the opening track i like find my way i like sliding um kiss of venus and a uh, winter bird um i think this is for being like a pandemic album, obviously this was made in the pandemic. Um, it's pretty, uh, pretty strong um, record. I mean, he plays every instrument himself on this record, so shows what an instrumentalist he is. That's the gatefold, but um, yeah, it shows what an instrumentalist he is, and um, I, yeah, this is this is good. Um. So, uh, 11 is off the ground, and, so I have to go to my computer for this one, um, 
I think Off the Ground, I don't have it, obviously, is a very strong record. I think a lot of people don't really appreciate it for what it is, which kind of irritates me. Uh, but the opening track is great. I love the title track Off the Ground. It's vibey. The bass line's great. Um, Hope of Deliverance is another vibey song that I really enjoy. Um, I Owe It All to You is a great love song. Um, Peace in the Neighborhood is another great song. I think it, the fav my favorite on the record, actually. Uh, Golden Earth Girls and Ode to Linda, which is amazing. Uh, Get On My Way is a good song. Wine Dark Open Sea is a good song. And Come On People is kind of like that Hey Jude kind of thing. Uh, it's a pretty good record. Um, and for that, it is at 11. Um, number 10 is new which obviously i don't have in my hands either um um i like the opening track save us it's a good rocker um on my way to work is a great song it has a good acoustic riff and a bass line early days is probably my favorite song on the record uh, it's a nostalgic song um about his childhood which i love new is a great song the title track pretty vibey um appreciates a good song and everybody out there and hosanna is good too um so that's new um mem number nine is memory so this is the top 10 obviously number nine is memory was full which i don't have um but memory was full um is pretty good um, I love the opener, Dance Tonight, one of my favorite Paul songs ever. Um, Ever Present Past is a good song. The bass line's good. The guitar riff, that kind of switches between the left and the right channels are great. Uh, it's a solid track. Uh, Om Only Mama Knows is a good song too. Um, the orchestration on it's great. And then it goes into this rocker, which is good. Um, Gratitude is a good song. Uh, the vocals are really good on this song. The piano riff is and bass line are amazing it's a really hidden it's a good hidden gem um house of wax is good um the piano riff on that song's great the drum drumming is great and his vocals are great um the end of the end is um a sad song about much mortality in general um the lyrics are really left tough to listen to but it i think it's a really beautiful track um and it kind of makes me cry and it's saying you know saying to people that death is not the end of you and um it's it's really good nod your head is a good rocker um so for that um memory almost full is at number nine uh, at number eight it is uh 78 london town um i love the opening track the title track London Town. I love Cafe on the Left Bank. I'm carrying Cufflink. Uh, Girlfriend. I've had enough. With the Little Luck is my favorite wing song of all time. Um, Don't Let It Bring You Down is good. Um, and Name and Address is good too. I uh, I really like uh, this album a lot. Uh, it's a very strong album. Um, it's very like sea feel to this album. Obviously, the the cover doesn't depict that. This should have been probably the um, front cover, in my opinion. But I think this is a very strong album, um, one of his best. And yeah, number seven is I just sorry. Number seven is Venus. Love love this record. I love Rock Show, um, Love and Song, You Give Me the Answer, Letting Go, um, Call Me Back Again, Listen to What the Man Said, um, and Junior's Farm. I think it's a really good record. I love it. Um, it's one of his best. Um, he followed up Band on the Run with another Smash record, and it's, it's good. Number six is one of his uh, most stellar albums of all time. 
uh, Chaos and Creation. I love Fine Line, Jenny Wren, English Tea, Too Much Rain, How Kind of You, uh, Riding to the Vanity Fair, uh, Promise to You Girl, This Never Happened Before in Any Way. Uh, I really like he, that he plays piano a lot on this record. Um, I love his piano playing and he plays piano a lot on this record. I kind of like the cover because um, he's in the backyard, right? And he's creating in the backyard. Um, and I think it's one of his best. Um, th this album slaps. It's so good. Um, so that's why it, num that's, it is at number six. Number five is Egypt Station. And I'm um, sorry. So the top five could be at any place except the number one spot. Um, so the next four could be at any place. Um, but number five is Egypt Station. I love this record so much. Um, I Don't Know is a very good track. Um, I like how the painting melody starts and then really somber. And then it goes into this kind of upbeat track at the beginning or in the middle of the song the bass line is pretty vibey and the lyrics are really good too i love come on to me i think that's one of his best newer songs um i really love it it's a good pop song drumming is good lyrics are kind of fun and the vocals are good too for being a 2018 mccartney record uh happy with you is another good song uh, it's about him a lot of people think it's about nancy but it's not it's about him um, he's happy with himself and where he is. Who Cares is a good song. Um, the bass line are great. The lyrics are great. The, I like the music video too with Emma Stone. Uh, Fuh You. It, it's a very con the ever controversial song, obviously. But it's it's good. This lyrics are kind of stupid, but it's a good pop song. Um, Confidant's a great song. People Want Peace is a good song. Um, and the back half of the album, it's... It's okay. I like uh, Domino's is good. Do It Now is good. But um, the other songs are alright. But I think it's a very solid album. Um, it was a number one album. Um, this late in his career shows that people still love him. And people are still buying his records. So I really, uh, I really love it. Uh, it's at number five. Number four is... Flowers, I adore this song or this entire record. Um, My Brave Favorite is amazing. Uh, it's the bass line is so cool. Um, Rough Rides Are Right, You One or Two is good. Distractions um, didn't really catch me the first time I heard it, but I do like it. Um, the more that I hear it, I kind of start to like it. We Got Married is probably my favorite song on this record. I love it. Um, it's celebrating marriage and his marriage was a good one. So put it there is a beautiful song about something his father said to him. Um, it's great. Figure of Eight's good and great. This one is mm, my one of my favorite Paul McCartney songs ever. Um, the Day is Done is great. Um, How Many People Are is good. Um, yeah, I think it's it's a solid record um a solid solid record and uh yeah it has sentimental value as well to me um being one of the first paul mccartney solo albums i ever listened to um but there you go top three here we go you already knew this was coming i adore this record um I love the title track. I love Take It Away. I love Somebody Who Cares. Here Today makes me cry every single time I hear it, whether he plays it in concert, whether he plays it. Um, ballroom Dancing is a good, vibey, jivey song. Uh, Wonderlust is one of his best ballads ever, like I said. I like the one on Broad Street Redder, but I still love the song. Um... I don't care if people don't like Ebony and Ivory. I love that song. Um, it's just one of his best. I mean, it stayed at the top of the charts for seven weeks. It's one of his best songs ever. Uh, Be What You See is good. Get It, it's good. 
Um, this song, this album is just, oh, so good. Um, I just love it so much. And um, it's when McCartney is down and out, whether that be, um, obviously this was made right after John died and um, he was obviously still grieving the loss of his probably one of his best friends um sorry partner that went through that with him um he just made a stellar record and you can tell that he, when he's like going through something uh personally he makes he buckles down and makes good albums because the number one album on my list is the same in, in the same vein as he was going through something and um it's just a stellar album. So, yeah, this I love this record so much. Um, number two, probably already know what this is. Um, but I know people are going to be like, oh, my God, it's not your number one. Uh, no, it's not my number one. Um, but I really enjoy this record very much. Um it's simply one of his best. It's triple platinum. Was uh, nominated for album of the year um, at the Grammys. I mean, it's it's a good record. The cover is iconic. Um, my favorite songs are obviously "Band on the Run," "Jet," "Bluebird," uh, "Let Me Roll It," "Mrs. Vanderbilt," "Helen Wheels," "Picasso's Last Words," and "1985." Only song, two songs I don't like on this record are No Words and um, Mamunia or whatever. Uh, other than that, for a song, it, it, I mean, it's amazing. I, I don't think I need to explain why this is number two. And finally, number one, my favorite Paul McCartney solo record of all, or favorite Paul McCartney record of all time is, drum roll per please, You already knew this was coming. <laughs> I absolutely adore this fucking record. This is the first Paul McCartney record that I ever remember listening to. I mean, obviously I heard Beatles and I heard Wings, but this was the first solo record that I ever heard. And I absolutely fell in love with this record. It's so good. Um, this is the remastered version. Um, this is the vinyl version of the 2020 remaster. I love it so much. I don't know if you can see that, but right there, that's the uh, remastered archive collection, box, uh, the deluxe box edition um, that came with like CDs and stuff. The CD and the videos and stuff like that. Um, so I bought two. That was like $200. This was like $40. Bucks. Um, that's how much I love this record so much. Uh, Going back to what I said with Tug of War, like, obviously Linda was de dealing with cancer when he was, um, working on this album, and you can hear it. I mean, he just, he buckled down and he did a fine job. I mean, it's a very stripped back album. Obviously, this was inspired by the, uh, Beatles anthology, but I think a lot of it had to do with Linda's condition at the time, and he was like, I just need to make a good, good record, and he did. Um, I love pretty much every single song on this album except one. And with the, um, album of 14 tracks, as you can tell, it's, that's pretty fucking good. My uh, song we were singing opens the album. It's amazing. Very, like, nostalgic song. I love it. World Tonight, um, is amazing. The rocker, it's good. Uh, if You Wanna is a good, um, summer song, road trip song. Some Days is one of his best ballads ever. And that says something because he's a balladeer that... Young Boy is killer. I love that track. That was the song that I heard, the first song that I heard on the record. And it just blew me away. Calico Skies is amazing. Flaming Pie is amazing. Heaven on a Sunday is amazing. Used to be bad is okay. Um, Souvenir is amazing. Little Willow is amazing. Really Love You, I don't really like. Um, that's the only track I don't really like on this album. 
Um, beautiful night is stellar and great day is stellar as well. Um, this track, this album will always hold my place in my heart, a special place in my heart. Um, um, I heard it in high school and it just, um, has that kind of nostalgic feel to me. Um, and he made one damn good record. This makes me sad because this is obviously Linda's last album that she was ever featured on. Um, but I think, I mean, some days, Calico Skies, Little Willow, Heaven on a Sunday, um, is some of the greatest ballads of his entire career. Um, so, Souvenirs, again, just, I just love this record. And, uh, this is the record that I go to most often. Certainly the record that I, uh, listen to most often. Um, I just love it. It is strong and it is at number one. So there you have it. That is my definitive Paul McCartney ranking of his soul albums. Um, again, this is my list. Um, I know a lot of people are not going to like the fact that Ram is at 19, but it's my list. It's my opinion. And I think, um, you know, I, I spent a lot of time doing this and I wanted to do this for a while. And, um, so yeah, I appreciate, I appreciate you guys listening and, uh, I'll see you soon.